Lucy Elphick is a mum from South Manchester. She's from Chorlton, and she's brought uh, Lily, who's 20 months old. Uh, how do we compare to other countries when it comes to child friendliness? Craig McGinty runs a website called The French Life. First of all, Lucy, you've, you've got lovely Lily, who's just looking through your wage slip at the yes. moment. Yes, <laughs> just for us all to <laughs> see. Cast it to the nation. <laughs> yeah, why not? Um, no, it's a difficult, it's a lovely age, but a difficult age to take them to restaurants and cafes because yeah. you don't sit still, do you? Yeah, definitely not. Um, to be honest... <laughs> She's just so lively and so gorgeous. Is that a challenge for you when you try and take her out places? Um, it is a bit in terms of, like you say, restaurants where she's expected to sit still and other people are there and they kind of give you that look. Have you had the look? I've had the look, yeah. Was it from me? Um, I don't think so. Because um, <laughs> I do adopt the look sometimes. Well, I was one of the look adopters, I must admit. Were before, you? Before I had children, definitely. Um, but you get more sympathetic, you know. Mm, of course. As, as you have children, you understand what it's like. And you can tell the people that also oh, have children. Oh, dear. And, oh it's uh, all no. fallen over, Lily. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you, get, you get sympathetic looks, but it's, it's young people and older people right. that either have forgotten what it's like or just don't know but what about Hello. what about the staff who run the restaurants yes. as a rule staff. are they very happy to have a gorgeous little girl like her it does depend where you are she's singing single twinkle twinkle <laughs> i know that one um it, it does depend who they are um definitely local to me there's a few places that are a bit more um snotty shall we say it's good a, word yeah it is that how you feel you genuinely feel that they are being snotty and superior um not so much superior just i i can understand that they don't understand mm. and because they don't understand they you know they they're not very sympathetic so where do you recommend you do you find once you've had a good experience you keep going back and back and back to the same place um n well i yeah I mean, if I found somewhere that was excellent, then yeah. definitely. I've never found anywhere to be the one particular place. There's a there's a very good children's play um, centre in Charlton, um, Head Over Heels, it's called. Mm. But it's it's designed for children, yes, so obviously of course. it's going to be very child friendly. Um, one of the main things in restaurants, lack of high chairs. Um, but Head Over Heels has like 50, so you know you'll always get a high chair. It doesn't matter if there's. So but you're going the there, there for the for the for the experience for the child when you Absolutely. want to have a yeah. meal as yeah. adults and you want to take her with you. Yeah. That's when it starts to get tough, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. It it doesn't really happen. I'm really? Laughing. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry for laughing behind your back, but jo Joe, who works with us, has come in to keep Lily entertained. It's more like the child catcher. <laughs> she's, she's legging it away from her. <laughs> Craig McGinty joins us as well. Yeah, I don't think you've got kids, have you, Craig? Not, no. no, but no. you. You've got a website called The French Life. Now, I'm guessing you're very familiar with life in France, and I'm also guessing that the way children are treated out in public, certainly in restaurants, is very different. Yes, it is. It starts from a young age, really. When children go to school, uh, they have their dinner in courses, they're taught how to toss salads, that sort of thing. So they understand where their food comes from. So food and the dinner table is very important to the French. So that's then reflected in the restaurant. So if, if families or... I, said, I used to play for the local football team, so we used to go out as team meals, but all the kids were there as well. Uh, so a table would have been set aside for the children to have their dinner as well. So they're treated like young adults as well, even at uh, five, six years old. And so they'll have proper courses, they'll have a soup starter, cheese, that sort of thing. But that's a whole different approach to dinner than the approach we have in this country. We don't set aside that time. We do not, do we? No, I think that's maybe one of the problems, uh, is that appreciation of where other people are and around in a dinner table and that sort of thing, and chatting about dinner, uh, where sort of where the food has even come from. It's all very often you'll find locally yeah, produced food. it's idyllic. Sort of this is all gorgeous, what you're talking about, but we don't have time. This is lovely when we're on our holidays, and we mm. do appreciate it if you go to the Mediterranean with your family, but you don't have time to do that in Middleton, do you? You do and you don't, I suppose. You no, don't. you don't. You don't. But the problem is, I suppose, is that we're so busy working that we're then spending more time chasing around, sort of sorting things out, and then problems with, just, uh, say, if there is children in the dinner, at dinner, uh, it's... It, I suppose it's, it's checks and balances. If you prepare children in the way that the French do, it's because other people would criticise them, saying it's very strict and very regimented. Uh, but also, at the same time, children are understanding uh, the environment of growing up in the, in the dinner environment as well. Uh, and it is all the way through. It's, it's 
or every day. If they're going to school, it's every day. You How do you find answering questions when you've been distracted <laughs> by you? <laughs> <laughs> not a problem. No, not a problem. The show must go on. <laughs> I think I know you're here to talk about the French, this French life. That's that's your website. But Italians are the same. We get, uh, as Diane was hinting, the Mediterranean uh, people do have across the board really a different. So an Italian restaurant near us, and there's always kids in it. Mm. And apart from the one I saw almost skateboarding round the restaurant, the rest of them, it's actually a joy to see them treated as young adults. Well, it's another country that takes time for eating and takes time for the dinner table. So that's the crux uh, of it, isn't it? I think it's important, I think it's important so that children understand that when they're in an environment around the table, for example, there's no sort of ball pull to be running around and getting <laughs> hyped up on, you might say. Uh, they still have time away because obviously they, they eat the dinner quicker. So when we're with the football teams, the kids would go off and play and often they would prepare a little dance and show sort of thing as well. Fantastic. Uh, and then uh, between sort of like the cheese course and the dessert, we'd have a show from the kids. Do you think that's where we go wrong? Because we do try and encompass all things. We do try and give something for the parents where they can sit at a table and have a meal. But then there is the ballpark and the park outdoors. And do you think that just kind of hypes the kids up? They don't know that they're there to sit down and have a formal dinner. Yeah, it's yeah. a halfway house, isn't yeah, it? It's, uh, as you said, there's the hype up side of things, but there's also not understanding the rules of the dinner table, I suppose, uh, and sitting around, when to eat, when to talk, all that sort of stuff. Uh, if you're rushing around in the ball pool, you're not gonna, it's not gonna happen really, is it? It's detached. You're what nodding your head, Lucy, there, ab ab about um, that comment. I am, really, yeah. Um, when I was growing up, I mean, I don't know if I'm from a particularly strict family or something, but it was very much... You, you learnt your table manners. Oh boy, yeah. yeah. And Me too. I don't think Lily is, really. <laughs> I'm afraid to say. Ah, so you're not managing to follow in those footsteps? Um, n no, but I guess if I made a conscious decision to, having not so far, <laughs> um, Hello. I guess I could do. And I mean, I don't, don't think 20 her. months is really the age to have some of the rules and regulations that I kind of remember, particularly from, like, much stricter grandparents. What would she eat if you took her out? Do you have to bring food with you? No, no, I'll, I'd give her anything that I think suitable. Pasta, pasta and sauce. Yeah. I mean, Italian food, she, she loves Italian she? food. Yeah. Maybe that's because the Italians love children, I don't know. Well, she's a joy <laughs> to behold. Uh, um, she's a handful as well, of course. Uh, yep. <laughs> uh, she's the type who would be up in the morning and non-stop till she goes to bed. I yeah. <laughs> so sing us a song before you go, Lily. Sing Twinkle Twinkle. Yeah. yeah. Twinkle Twinkle. <laughs> <laughs> she's gone shy. Yeah, she doesn't perform when she's uh, expected to. Well, twinkle Sue's, Twinkle! <laughs> Sue says uh, the best family cafe is the Station Cafe in Mosley. That's oh, her recommendation. That. Mm -hmm. And an anonymous text says nothing free for children. How about manners? Give them manners. They're free. Dave B says, on a serious note, I, I really don't mind child-friendly pubs. What I don't like, says Dave, is mother's breastfeeding in public areas because it embarrasses me. Go on, Lucy, you're taking a sharp intake of breath. <laughs> <laughs> Say what you think, girl. Uh, well, what a ridiculous opinion, frankly. Um, women breastfeeding rarely show more than a baby doing what nature intended. Frankly. Would you see that in France much? And you, you don't... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, you don't I think it's see. a very European, isn't it? Where it's maybe British closeted up sort of mentality, I'm afraid. Uh, mm. But yeah, it wouldn't be a problem. OK, well, it was really nice to see you all, Lucy and uh, Lily. And uh, this FrenchLife.com, is it? Is the full... That's the one. Yeah. That's the one, yeah. And we can get, get a flavour of life across the channel yeah, on that website. Yeah, all the way across, definitely. Okay. So if I go to France, you're going to guarantee me there aren't going to be any marauding kids running around the restaurant, or I'm coming to see you. I, and I can guarantee the weather. <laughs> and guess what? I can't. <laughs> and Craig, we know where you live as well. <laughs>